Hello and welcome. Today I wanted to go over the requirements for greenhouse venting and how much venting you have to have per square foot of greenhouse. I just wanted to go over and share the formula to find the actual venting requirements for your specific greenhouse. If you're like us, you have a DIY built greenhouse that is not of any specific requirements and you have to kind of calculate the ventilation needs on your own in order to control that humidity. So I just wanted to share this for anybody who's possibly building a greenhouse or has one in the works over over the winter here or has just been brainstorming and is getting to the point where they're going to set up a greenhouse. Now most of your kit greenhouses will come with perfect ventilation and proper ventilation on each side of the greenhouse. But when you're doing it yourself you don't always know the requirements for ventilation. So the only information you need for this is your length and your width and you multiply those together to give you your total square footage on your area of your greenhouse. And once you've found your total square foot area of your greenhouse, you take that through the formula and you multiply your square footage by 0 0.02 and that will give you your exact square foot of area required for proper ventilation on your size of greenhouse. So let's run a couple greenhouses through this formula. We have our 6x12 greenhouse, a little cattle panel greenhouse, and it has 72 square feet. So when you run that through the formula, you're coming up with about 1.4 square feet. So just under one and a half square feet of complete ventilation in order to properly ventilate. And that's probably the minimum requirements in order to get proper ventilation. Now let's use a Harbor Freight 10x12 for example. You're getting 100 20 square feet of area inside your greenhouse and running that through the formula you'll have about two and a half square feet of ventilation and that's about what they come with maybe a little bit more so I want to run the formula on our 520 square foot greenhouse we have 52 by 10 and we're coming up with 10.4 feet so about 10 and a half square feet of proper ventilation in order to get good ventilation in this greenhouse so now that I've shared the formula and ran a couple greenhouses through the formula I wanted to talk about ventilation ventilation placement. You have to have your ventilation on opposite sides of your greenhouse or you will not have proper ventilation. You can have them down low and some up high but you have to have them on each side. We have it on each end and we are going to use fans. Fans drastically increase the ventilation and flow and humidity moisture control in your greenhouse while at the same time hardening your plants off and making them more sturdy and better growing overall. So some additional ideas towards venting we want to use some lower intake vent I'm going to create on our southern side. I have a couple slots where I can fit it in. I want to use about a 10 to 12 inch fan for lower intake to draw cold air and I'm also going to have fans drawing from the top of our greenhouse pulling that hot air in the summer and drawing it right out the window in order to provide proper ventilation and moisture control in our greenhouse here. Now when we're talking about proper ventilation I would say that it's required that you have some type of autonomous window opener or venting opener because you can cook all of your plants very easily and the fall and springtime are very tricky times because you have hot days sometimes but it's still cold at night so you're prepared for winter and cold nights but during the day your temps could reach up very high and you have to be able to autonomously vent that heat. We use the wax filled openers but there is a downfall to those because they only open with the temperature so you might not get full extension on it because it's not being fully activated by the actual temperature inside the greenhouse. Now they make electric plug-in window venters and those are much more reliable but you have to pay for the cost of the electricity which it's not very surmountable but it's still a cost nonetheless. So I just wanted to share the formula and some ideas is going forward what we're gonna do to get better ventilation in our greenhouse for next spring and next summer right now we're sealed up nice and tight because we're not really venting a whole lot to the atmosphere we're just kind of holding the fort down and I open the door up and vent everything when it's warm enough to do so if it is not the only venting we'll get is when I open and close the door for the most part that's how all winter will go for us because we're just trying to keep all of that heat and keep from releasing all of the energy we're putting into the greenhouse trying to achieve passive heating and some of our solar system. I just want to thank everybody for watching and I hope this information was useful and helpful to everyone.